Welcome back to Sunshine Hollow. Um, things on the farm here are just wonderful. Every day is just perfect. We're getting things in the ground. Everything looks beautiful. And we may or may not have brought home six new special little friends. <laughs> These adorable little creatures are khaki Campbell ducklings. In flower farming, slugs and snails are one of our biggest enemies. And these little ones, these little ducklings, are gonna turn into big mean foraging machines and they're gonna help keep our slug and snail populations down. We will run them uh, in the garden beds. They will likely just do a lot of trampling in the pathways we're hoping. <laughs> um, we're excited to learn and see how this whole process goes. And uh, if there's a lot of girls, we will use them for eggs. And if there's a lot of boys, we'll use them for meat. We're not really looking to winter over these ducklings. We're probably going to harvest them all right before winter. Um, wintering over ducks is, it's a hard task. It's not easy. We have um, two Indian runner ducks at this point on the farm. They do absolutely nothing for us. They uh, came to the farm as my little projects. Uh, <laughs> they were just kind of injured and hurt, and I have a whole blog about it that you can read, but um, we ended up with the two ducks, and now there's a male and a female, and they basically just roam our property, our... 12 to 15 ponds and enjoy their life um but these guys these guys are gonna work for us the khaki campbell is a dual purpose breed so um you can even either harvest it for meat you can use it for eggs and um it's also a good forager so when you're choosing a duck for the slug and snail patrols um you want to choose a duck that has foraging in its genetics if you choose a farm duck like a pecan, for example, um, you're just going to get a fat, slow duck that's gonna wait for you to bring grain rather than go out and find its own food. We have a pretty ideal breeding ground for slugs and snails around here. We're already having issues and we're not even close to being in peak season. Um, even in the greenhouse, the dahlias that are sprouting um, are getting de some defoliation on their leaves. Uh, so we really wanna hit this problem head on and not have it be something that hinders our flower production. Plus who wouldn't want six adorable little ducklings hanging around? I'm trying really hard not to get attached to these guys because I know we might harvest them right before winter, but holy cow, they're so cute. Oh, oh gosh. The ducks that I raised before um, want absolutely nothing to do with people. So I'm really trying to get these guys to um, be comfortable around people, mostly just so that it's really easy for us to manipulate them and get them into their coop at night. Um, and I'm really hoping they'll just respond to us well and follow us around so we can herd them into whatever uh, garden space that we need them to be in. So this has been an update, um, just a short video. I just wanted to show you them while they're still really tiny and really cute. Uh, this stage doesn't last forever, unfortunately. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. And if you love this video, you can like, subscribe to our channel. It would mean the world. Um, I can't wait to share this duckling journey with everyone. It's gonna be really interesting and I'm t keeping a lot of data to, um, you know, see if this is something that's really viable, uh, something that we want to put into our future plans. Um, so keep up with us. See you next time.